Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I'm the Cyber Brave Guru. Thank you for watching. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, so I don't do very many of these, but I thought that uh, the most recent results I was having out of a particular film that kind of warranted a review. Um, so I actually tweeted something earlier today, or whenever this video is going to be posted, uh, of a side-by-side -side comparison of a, a Maker Geeks uh, skull, that, or skull that I printed in Maker Geeks PLA white, um, and then uh, the Poly Alchemy Elixir uh, in the emerald green. And I got to tell you, so both of the prints turned out fantastically, um, but the Poly Alchemy green is uh, just freaking amazing. Um, I know other people have done reviews of this filament and uh, I don't want to necessarily be like uh, uh, keeping up with the Joneses by doing a review of this but I did want to show some of the pictures so uh, let me uh, let me show you some of the parts. Okay so um, hold on I gotta uh, we're gonna zoom in on the camera here. So this is the um, let me zoom in this is the Maker Geeks uh, skull. Um, I apologize. It's in, it's printed in white, but uh, so it's a little washed out. So I'm trying to get the zoom to work properly. Uh, so you can see here, it actually printed out very well. It's nice and smooth. Um, you can see the detail enough. I imagine. I'm pretty sure when I scale this puppy up, which I intend to do for Halloween, and make a whole series of these, um, that it turned out very well. Um, and no no real issues with this you can see actually a little bit some zitting on the back there the back side uh, I'll be honest with you the Prusa started doing that uh, a little bit ago um, like six months ago uh, I, I don't know why I don't know if it's because uh, maybe I was printing some uh, glow-in-the-dark film but maybe my nozzle was a little too big or something I don't know but then I printed uh, I wanted to try the 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 poly Alchemist alchemy filament uh, and I had some plans for what I wanted to print with it uh, so I'm like hey you know I have this let's compare and contrast so we have a a part that we can easily see uh, any notable differences so so this is it um, first off um, ignoring the white and the fact that it's washed out um, you'll notice that it is uh, super silky and smooth um, it lives up to the, I don't want to call it hype, but it lives up to the claims. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like, it literally looks like silk. It is fantastic. Um, this print and the filament is just, oh man, look at that. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I, I was literally blown away uh, by this print when it came off the printer. I mean, it just printed fantastically. A um, little squirrely on the first uh, the first uh, layer. Um, uh, the flow characteristics I've heard it's kind of kind of wonky and um, spot on. It's wonky. Uh, the only thing that I will say, the only big difference I will notice is I was trying. I'll try and zoom in here. Uh, show you. You can see uh, the roofs of the eyeballs here. Actually, let me do it this way. Is probably a better way to do that. Um, the roofs of the eyeballs here. You can see there's not a lot of. Um, uh, there was supports in there, but it didn't quite come out perfectly, uh, especially the one in the... Let me twist this here. It's backwards on the camera. <laughs> be better if I put it in my left hand. There you go. Anyway, you, you get the picture. Uh, it's a little wonky in the upper of the eyeball, um, where I did not get any of that. Let me uh, pull my glass up so I can actually see. Uh, with the Maker Geeks. Uh, the, the, I will tell you the filament... Uh, supports for the Maker Geeks again, kind of stuck to it. Um, I reported that in a previous video. The only issue I have with this print is, let's see if I can get a picture of it, um, manipulate the camera and show you. Um, see that line right there, uh, right here. Um, it goes through the entire print, top to bottom, all the way up to the top of the skull. Um, I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know what it is. I think it's because of the retraction settings. Um, you can see on the bottom here um, how the bed was, the bed in the Prusa uh, isn't entirely level. It's a perfect on the bottom, um, uh, on the chin side here, um, but it gets gappy um, on this side. You can see in the top and then 
on the side over here, um, you can start seeing some gaps. So uh, the bed is not level front to back, um, and it's got this funny sort of line. Now, I, I'll be honest with you, for the skull, um, I was like, hey, you know, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, it looks like a, like a, you know, one of those the, where the bones fit together. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then, um, so I'm like, okay, so let's print something more complicated. And I, uh, you know, big, go big or go home. Um, I've always been fancying this uh, Mighty Joe model. I think the Maker Noob made and printed. And I've seen a couple prints of it. It's just, I'm like, that's really cool. It just so happens my son's um, a swim team is the Villa Gorillas. Uh, and so the gorilla is their um, mascot. And I'm like, hey, this is going to be perfect, right? And, I, and their colors are green. <laughs> and I've got the green. So let's, let's, let's do this, right? So here is the back of this thing. Look at this guy. Um, it is freaking outstanding. Um, I cannot tell you. I came down uh, in the morning, printed it overnight, um, and just was just utterly blown away. I, I was shocked um, by the uh, the quality of the print for the um, for the skull. And then I saw this guy and I'm like, wow, just wow. The only problem is, you can see it, um, it's it's unfortunate. <laughs> the teeth are just utterly jacked up. Um, uh, the canines in particular, this, uh, this one here, actually I, I broke it, you know, despite the warnings on the thing of her saying, watch the canines, don't break it. I broke it, but even the, the spiraling of the tooth on this side here, um, it just doesn't look very good, but, uh, you know, hey, uh, I think I could probably fart with it, uh, some and get it to work out, but I mean, look at this guy, look at the expression on his face, um, uh, you, you get the eyeballs, the nostrils, um, having trouble with the light kind of, uh, shaking off of it, but, um, and you can see, I mean, it, it the shine is just just amazing um and the tongue sticking out and the teeth you know if this canine had uh, uh this one i guess had printed well it this would have been just just a perfect print um i don't know uh, i looked online i'm thinking hey you know maybe i would just dork something up i looked online and um actually a couple of the pictures i saw online uh, you could see that the canines were not were not printed very well at all so uh, i might fart around with this uh, variable layer height uh uh, or just I, so I slice it and simplify 3d maybe I'll slice it in something else we'll have to see um, but I, again utterly blown away by the quality now I'll be honest with you when I was zooming in here I noticed um, on the camera you can actually see defects like that line where's this line right there totally can't see that in real um, unless you really look really hard but on the camera you can totally see it interesting um, but still I mean for the I just, I mean, I don't know what to say. Uh, go out, get this, get this film and print with it. Print, print a lot. Um, this guy is, it is freaking amazing. And when you, when you look at these two guys, look at that. I mean, I can't imagine, I, you know, it's just so good. Um, and, and, and look, I love the Maker Geeks film it. I do. Um, but it doesn't have that. <laughs> That's amazing. So hey, if you like this video, um, uh, I'll put uh, in the description the, the print settings I printed with. Um, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't, thumbs up anyway. Uh, leave any questions and comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe um, right down there. And if you have any, uh, any thoughts, please send them my way. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.